Hello again, welcome to today's attempt at the fusal puzzle. This is Wordle, but the rules change on every row. So for example, on the top row, yellow and green tiles would be ambiguous. So if we find a letter that's correct, we'll know it's in the word, but we won't know if it's in the right or wrong position. So I'm not going to start with the most common letters. Maybe I should, I don't know. But I've typed this now for no real reason. Okay, so we've got an N, but at least we've ruled out four letters. So on this row, of course, we've got some hiding cells. I'm not going to use the N in one of those two positions because I don't think we're going to learn too much. I'm going to try some more vowels. Okay, we've got an E. The colouring is inverse. Blue tiles mean that another letter from your guess is in that spot. We're really running out of vowels, aren't we? We're probably going to have to have the I as well as the E. How about singe? Oh, okay. Blue tiles mean that another letter from your guess is in that spot. We know there's an N. It can't be anywhere else, so the N has to be first. And we also cannot use any of the other letters, that means. So there's no S, I, or G. We've already ruled out the A, O, and U. So that means that there's got to be a duplicated E, surely. So my guess must repeat a letter. That's convenient, because I was already thinking of repeating the E. I feel like it probably has to be nerve. I think it has to start with an N. The E probably is going to be the second letter. So it's N, E, blank, blank, E. That's quite restrictive. And what do you know? It's correct. I held my nerve and deduced it correctly. And that's quite a nice pattern. Everything is an even number. That's 22 games played. 100% success rate kept up. Very happy with that. That's the Fusal Puzzle. Thank you for watching and bye for now.